So hi everyone, welcome back to Dharmatography and today in this video we are going to talk about some Photoshop manipulation tutorial and I'm going to do a breakdown rather than doing it from beginning because it may take lots of time so watch this breakdown carefully and you can learn some technique I will provide you all these assets and let's begin this video Uh, in my picture I forget to add the shadow so I later add it you can see I have added some shadow so I'm going to do a quick breakdown because uh, if I start it from beginning it will take a long time so let me simply show you from beginning okay. So, I will provide you some assets and link of this dragon and you can use your own picture to create this version so so this is my picture original picture from Natapola temple model and I was beside I was behind this model and this is called light painting or play with lights so first thing is I will add my lightning so I will provide you the link of this assets let me show you so this is actually a picture of lightning look this is actually the picture of lightning uh, let me make it normal mode so and so this is actually a picture of lightning eh? so the first thing I will change it to a smart filter so you will go there and change it to convert to a smart object so that I have done here a smart filter and then I will go to labels I'll show you we go to image adjustment and labels then you will see this option and in labels labels you will make it this is black and this is white so you so you will move the cursor of black and make it everything black except this lightning and you have this cool lightning and then press ok so I have already done it so that's what it looks in label and then so look I have already done it and then you may or may not play with hue and saturation I first thought to make it look like orange then later I don't like it so I make it a normal blue and then you will play with the blending mode I have add lighten and then simply play with the opacity and then press ctrl T and move it like something like this and you have this cool lighting effect and you can still play with the opacity so this is how I made this lightning and then I copy it ctrl Z copy I put it here the same process ctrl Z lightning and I add some lightning here okay and then I add a dragon from Devian Art uh, you need to provide the credit uh, so that you can use it in your personal timeline and for personal use so, but right now you can see uh, the color is not matching of the dragon to this background so then I will go to this cursor adjustment and then corpse you press the corpse and then you will see something like this here look I have already done and then actually it's look like this and then you will press this this is called clipping mask it will only affect 
sorry. So, wait. Create a clipping max. Okay, so good. Okay, so now you can see the effect is only affecting this dragon by pressing this clipping mask and then I just play with this corpse actually it looks like normal street corpse then I will make it like S corpse this is normal RGB line this is highlight and this is some shadows so and then I want to make it a little bit bluish then you will go to this blue and it actually look like this in normal case and I just simply pull it so it will look like bluish and it matches this background and the sky I want it to match with this sky so and then I want to add some glow in this wing like uh, it looks it should look like that uh, the fire is coming and I want to make it uh, glowing so for that purpose I will add a new layer create a new layer and make sure this is black and white and you go to filter render clouds then you go to filter render different clouds and then I want to make a selection of the let me make a selection of this dragon so for this purpose you press I think control is control and dragon and you have this selection now click this layer 11 and then this is the layer mask press it so you have your own layer mask now you can see this looks something funny but now change the blending mode to color tones so right now it looks bluish and it's glowing I want to make it look like a fire so for that purpose you go to image adjustment hue and saturation and simply first press colorize and increase the saturation and make it look like this so that it will look like a fly a fire type of body of the dragon so simply make a color adjustment and press ok and then you can see let me delete this layer so this is what I have created and I have color draws opacity 100 and then I have copy it control Z and then I have reduced this opacity to like 60% so that it will match the background and as I said you need to create a shadow of this dragon so I had forgot in my picture you can see you can see the shadow so this is the shadow so the light is coming from here the shadow should be somewhere like here and for this purpose you go to the dragon and FX you go to drop shadow 100% ok so you will have the drop shadow now go to this button and then press right mouse and create a layer ok so you can see now you have only this shadow then go to image adjustment sorry image transform or is transform edit transform and flip particle so that control and then press control T and oh no sorry edit uh, don't make it vertical it's not a reflection for reflection you make it vertical so edit transform flip horizontal edit transform I want to make it like before so what edit transform Flip so actually, actually it's night time so the shadow will not be so dark so then reduce its opacity so something like this and I will not uh, actually I'm not so good at creating a good shadow so I will simply make it look like this and 
filter blur and add a Gaussian blur like three okay and then I want to add a layer mask and I don't want any shadow in this I make it black brush tool and then simply brush here so you know I'm just doing it roughly so this is how we create a shadow I have add here this is my shadow so and I need to simply press here or, or let me use this another shadow so I will use this shadow and it's, it's always good to name the layer like I think here somewhere you can write a name double press and you can say dragon and dragon shadow you know so so right now then add, let's add some fire I will provide you this fire stock image so you can see I've add a fire and then actually it looks like this normal and then I will make a blending mode like lighten or a screen I will okay, let me make it a screen and then I would add a layer mask simply add a layer mask and simply brush with make it press it D or make it like this and simply brush here with the black so that uh, there is no fire in the face that simply brush with a size like this and simply brush here so the fire look so so it looks like the fire fire is coming from its mouth and I will add another fire same process same process then I will press control shift control shift alt e control shift alt e and then I'll get my full image like this so so in my picture there is no shadow so let me use this and so and then I will do my color correction filter camera raw filter and simply play with uh, contrast highlights shadows a little bit white a little bit black add some clarity add some little bit of saturation and simply play with this color adjustment and uh, you know take your time and I got something like this this is my finishing lot I want to have this uh, teal type of color and uh, you know a fiery type of things and I have used a layer mask so that I for fire I use a layer mask so that I have the original color of fire and uh, so I simply use the layer mask you don't need it so the last thing then I will add a light you can see I have added a light in order to show that this model is communicating with this dragon like a game of thrones so first thing you need to change so it looks like this normal actually the light I will provide you this light and then you will uh, change the blending first you will change it to a smart object so like this convert to a smart object and you have this smart filter icon and then I want to make it uh, orange so for this purpose I will go to uh, uh, or I want to make it blue so let it be like this and simply make it screen I have done some uh, camera raw filter and then I have played with some hue and saturation so I want to make it either look it like this or this so you can play with the hue and saturation for color so for this purpose I will make it look like this and I want to add uh, some light into eye of dragon so I will press ctrl Z and you will get this copy and this is a dragon eye 
and this is uh, and this is a uh, modal power <laughs> so the same thing and you press ctrl T and then I just put this light in the eye so that it will look cool and uh, the modal and dragon are reacting with each other you know so and then press uh, then add a new layer you can see I, I have added a new layer layer 11 and then press T so it will look like black and white then use a brush tool and make it white and I want some of the parts of the dragon to glow more so for this purpose I will simply brush here like this you know so roughly I want this lighting to be a little bit brighter so uh, okay actually I should use another brush tool I want this eye to be a little bit brighter I want this uh, part to be a little bit brighter and then change the model overlay and simply play with the opacity so it will look so you can see now some of the part are screwing so that's what I have done in this layer 7 and then same with 8 and then I have add a rain from one of these stock images I think I cannot provide you this because this will create a copyright problem so uh, it's your choice either to add a rain or not so simply I have added a rain since it actually look like this normal and simply I made the blending mode to screen and then reduce the opacity and I have add some motion blur by going to filter blur and motion blur so and the last thing I have added add some Game of Thrones text Natapola you can go to da font and simply type Game of Thrones text in Google you could get a free version of it and simply use this text Natapola and this is my logo and this is my final adjustment and this is my shadow and then this is what it looks like so actually it's a simple process uh, it's just your imagination from where to begin and what to add in my picture I forgot to add the shadow so uh, okay very simple process adding a fire and then some color dots curves adjustment dragon shadows lightning 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 so that's it guys I will provide you I will not provide you this netable picture I will provide you this lightning image and then I will uh, provide you the link of this dragon and then I will provide you this fire stock image so that you can try and create your own version and you can tag dermatography so that I can have a look of what you have created using this stock so this is actually uh, this picture already look cool I just want to add something extra thing and do a manipulation so that was a basic quick breakdown and if you like this video subscribe to the channel and stay tuned and I will come with another photoshop tutorial so till then have a nice day bye bye